Hello students, here are some of the important questions which may appear in the IPE exam for you. So these are the 8 marks questions, very very important. So first question, write important postulates of Bohr's theory and explain various series in hydrogen spectrum by using this theory. Write the limitations of Bohr's theory. So for this question, we are going to explain the Bohr's theory, advantages and limitations of Bohr's theory also. So in order to overcome the drawbacks of Rutherford's atomic model, Niels Bohr proposed a new atomic model based upon quantum theory of radiations. Yes. Next. Main features of Bohr's atomic model are this one you have to write in a point wise like this. The electrons in an atom revolve around the nucleus only in certain selected circular orbits. These orbits are associated with definite energies and they are called as shells or energy levels. So these are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4 etc. Designated as K, L, M, N etc. as shells. Third point is only those orbits are permitted in which the angular momentum of an electron is a whole number multiple of nh by 2 pi where h is the Planck's constant that is angular momentum of an electron. Angular momentum of an electron is equal to nh by 2 pi. Here n is the principal quantum number with values 1, 2, 3 and so on infinity and m is the mass of the electron, v is the velocity of the electron and r is the radius of the orbit. Next point. As long as the electron revolves in a particular orbit, its energy remains constant. Hence, the orbits are known as stationary orbits. Fifth point, when an electron gains energy, it jumps to higher energy level by absorbing a definite amount of energy which is equal to the difference in energy between the two energy levels. When the electron jumps back to the lower energy level, it radiates same amount of energy in the form of a photon. So now we will see the spectral lines for atomic hydrogen. So here are 5 series, Lyman series, Balmer series, Passion series, Bracket series and Fund series with values N1 as 1, N2, 2, 3 and it appears in the UV region that is ultraviolet region and Balmer series when N1 is equal to 2 and N2 is 3, 4 and it appears in the visible spectral region. Next is Passion series N1 is equal to 3 and N2 is 4, 5 and spectral region is infrared. Next is Bracket series when N1 is equal to 4, N2 is equal to 5, 6 and spectral region is infrared. And last one is fund series N1 is equal to 5 and N2 value is 6, uh, 7, so on. In the spectral region, infrared region. Next we will see the transition of the electron in the hydrogen atom. Now we will see all this series for the hydrogen atom. This is the energy increasing. And N1 is equal to 1, N2 is equal to 2, N is equal to 3. And 4, 5, 6. So we will see the series, Lyman series in the UV region and Bama series in the visible region. Visible region is nothing but WIBGR. And next, Passion series, it is appearing in the infrared region. So delta E is difference in the energy E2 minus E1 which is nothing but H nu. Here H is Planck's constant and nu is frequency of the radiation emitted or absorbed when an electron jumps from one orbit to another orbit. 
Next, we will see the advantages of Bohr's model. Here, Bohr's model explains the stability of the atom. The electron revolving in a stationary orbit does not lose energy and it remains in the orbit forever. Next one, Bohr's theory successfully explains atomic spectrum of hydrogen. Next, this theory not only explains hydrogen spectrum but also explains the spectra of one electron species such as helium plus helium ion, lithium ion and beryllium ion. Next, we will see the limitations of Bohr's model. Bohr's theory fails to explain the spectra of atoms containing more than one electron. It could not explain the fine structure of atomic spectrum obtained by a spectroscope of high resolving power. It does not explain the splitting of spectral lines into a group of finer lines under the influence of magnetic field which is nothing but Zeeman effect and electric field is Stark effect. So in this manner you have to explain the Bohr's theory advantages and limitations for 8 marks. Okay children.